Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for December 14th, 2023. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Sagittarius, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. If you would like a personal reading, you can reach out to me through my email in the description box below, okay? Also keep in mind, Sagittarius, that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? Okay, let's do this. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. Okay. You may be juggling some finances at this time or juggling something, could be people, finances, um, Six of Swords, Reverse, Ace of Swords. You're putting a death to something though. Maybe you're putting a death to a mindset that you can't move on. For those of you that are new to the channel, I use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I know what these cards mean, but I like to look at the book here in order to get a complete and accurate depiction for what is going on for you, okay? It says, journey or escape is delayed, no way out of the present situation. Being forced to endure current circumstances or make changes from within the system rather than running away, possibly returning to the location of previous despair for whatever reasons, all right? I feel like you're wanting to put to put something put put a rest like put put a death to something here. You're working really hard as well at this time. Okay, you're wanting to put something to rest or put a death to something here, but I feel like you are unable to or you feel unable to. You feel like you're juggling this whatever this is. It could be people, it could be um, finances, it could be work, it could be your time, juggling your time between something here, all right? Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. Okay. Please let this reading be about the collective and not about myself. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on. All right. Let me get one, four, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. One more. One, two, three, four. King of Swords reversed, small-minded, arrogant man, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, you could be dealing with someone that is not wanting you to be happy with someone else, okay? It could be an authority figure or a parental figure with the King of Cups reverse, okay? A patient man with a cruel, calculating mind, criminal mastermind or ringleader, iron fist, the tyrant, dictator. Okay, you're wanting someone that's trying to control you or control an outcome for you. Ten of Cups reversed. Somebody that doesn't want you to be happy with someone else or doesn't want you to be happy. It says broken dreams, illusion of happiness, disruption of the home, loss of security or home ownership, broken marriages and dys dysfunctional families, okay? Or maybe you are moving on from someone that, or trying to move on from someone that did not work out for you. Something like that. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. Okay. We have the Six of Wands in the past, okay? The Four of Swords reversed in the present and the Five of Pentacles for the future, okay? Could be seeing four, five, six, <laughs> okay? Um, six of Wands in the past is some kind of victory, but it is, it's also representational of getting um, acknowledged for the work that you do, getting recognition for the work that you do, okay? Wands or action is also fire, Sagittarius, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Six of Wands. Parades, accolades, victories, and celebrations of victories. If this card is an outcome, expect good things, and then expect a public spectacle of the victory. Possible raise, promotion, awards won, public affection, and even perhaps a little boasting are bound to happen very soon. Occasionally, this card also represents a leader rallying his or her troops, organizing for a major cause. If that is the case, the surrounding cards will support the notion quite clearly, okay? Let's clarify the Six of Wands for Sagittarius in the past, please. One, two, three, four. Okay, let me get one more. One, two, three, four. There we go. Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Three of Wands, okay? Very good cards. Knight of Wands, um, this could be something happening fast, or you traveling towards something fast, or 
maybe you're trying to travel towards emotional fulfillment really quickly, okay? <laughs> With this Ace of Wands, I mean Ace of Cups, excuse me, okay? And then the Three of Wands. I want to read the Three of Wands first. This is an extremely fortunate card to draw, although it can be tr although it can be frustrating because as you look closely at the boats in the bay, they are sailing away, indicating the successful launch of a venture rather than the re rather than the return profits of one. This card tells us that things go well, keep going. This card often appears when we are frustrated frustrated by lack of obvious results and we need encouragement to persist. Other forces are at work and we must also apply our efforts intelligently while we are waiting for our results, okay? With the Ace of Cups, this is like emotional fulfillment mainly, okay? But also it represents some kind of victory here, okay? Beginnings. Not victory, beginning. I'm getting this mixed up with the, one of the other Aces. A little, a little tired right now. I just got back from the movies a little bit ago. I was going to do this reading before I went to the movies, but I ran out of time. So, <laughs> As with all Aces of the Tarot, this card reflects new beginnings, purity of form and purpose, and the elemental intensity required to successfully manifest something from nothing. This Ace, however, indicates the wellspring or source of what is to follow in this suit. This places it parallel and prominence with any of the major Arcana cards. Easy interpretations are anything new on an emotional level, love, hope, a miracle cure of any sort, a surge of happiness, a birth, likely a girl, engagement, or even a marriage if expected by the Two of Cups. The lovers or other obvious indications, the deeper implications show a potential soul bonding, spiritual awakening, or deep religious devotion, a peace offering and war, or a miracle offered. Being an ace, this card is the essence of the Two of Cups without the burden of outside influence or representation. As such, all of the aces can amplify the energy of similar related cards, all aces are amplifiers. They empower related and congruent card energies to illustrate powerful events and circumstances, okay? So this is a very good past situation for you. It's like representational of something new, but also like something that's emotionally fulfilling. This could be a job or a person or both for some of you. For some of you, this is going to be a job or a person or both, okay? Getting recognized for the work that you do. Also, like, waiting on, even though you're maybe a little frustrated because you're waiting on something, it's like you're moving in fast or someone's moving in fast towards you on an emotional fulfillment level. One, two, three, four. It could be an Aries, like another Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? Two of Wands, wow. <laughs> All these Wands card, okay? So... Beginnings and calculated risks, but instead of the spark of creativity or a burst of energy as seen in the ace, this energy is a carefully planned effort to create a favorable outcome. This is the card of planning, coordinating, the will applied to physical action, the law of attraction being applied. This, this is a card of doing and waiting. Results will come later. Right now, plan carefully and act decisively. Gather allies and support if you can as well. Keep your eye on your goals and enjoy every moment. Courage, excitement, free spirit, love of life, enthousi enthusiastic discovery. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then the four of pentacles reversed. I feel like that's a little bit of what you didn't see coming. Okay. It could be dealing with someone that's greedy or materialistic. Okay. Or you're no longer wanting i feel like that is not really going along with this portion of the reading i feel like this is you not holding on to an outcome i feel like you are just like okay i'm putting this in the hands of spirit i'm going to move forward however i see fit but i'm not going to expect an outcome because i feel like you're just tired of trying to control something here okay you're just like all right um like kind of like throwing in the white flag but not in a way of saying that you give up more of like in a way of like all right i'm not going to worry about how this turns out because i'm just going to know that it's going to turn out fine because i'm not the one in control of this whatever the situation is it's looking good though okay with the four swords and the reverse it's got two different meanings in between this book and the deck that i have over here one in the book here it says dishonor someone is digging up the past or things that are better left alone no rest from prying eyes and searching hands lack of recognition for one's efforts and deeds okay that is what the card means. Let's see, let's clarify the Four of Swords reverse for Sagittarius in the present, please. One, two, three, four, okay. Ace of Swords reverse, okay, Justice and the Fool. Justice reverse and the Fool, okay. 
All right, some kind of justice literally coming in here because you are putting something to death here, Sagittarius, in the present. Okay, you're putting something to death. Okay, this is rec this is um recognized as the real death card. Okay, it will even state that in the book here. Among professional readers, this is quietly referred to as the real death card. This, in, in, this indicates sharp, sudden violence and defeat, usually accompanied by vehement rage. Before you accept this, before you accept this, be sure to verify all and expecting cards. Okay. Oh wait, let me see what justice reverse is. Because justice in the upright, you know. Sometimes the bad guys win. Someone is conspiring in the background. Sycophants, yes men, office politics, drama, unfavorable treatment, and possibly being on the losing side of any large battle. If this card comes up reversed in the present or the future, continue reading to find out who is doing what to whom, and then toss out the roundabout spread and find out how to undo or avoid these nefarious creations, okay? I feel like it could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or an Aries, okay? These signs are very prominent here, okay? Um, but this is like, you're going on some kind of new beginning, okay? You're not letting whatever this is stop you, okay? Whatever this is going on in the present here, okay? I feel like you're working really hard or you're having a hard time sleeping at night, okay? But you have someone in your energy trying to like get some kind of, get some kind of dirt on you, okay? Something like this going on. One, two, three, four. But you're not allowing, like you're, it's, it's, it's like in a sense right now, Sagittarius, where you're like, okay, I don't even, I'm not even worried about whether this person wins or not. I feel like you're like, okay, I'm putting this to rest. I'm moving on whether you win or not. And I'm having this new beginning. Okay. New beginning with someone or something here. Let's clarify this present situation for Sagittarius. Let me get one more for one, two, three, four. Okay. Three of wands is in the reverse now. Okay. Arrogance, obstinacy, delays, treacherous obstacles, disorganization. The magician reversed and the five of pentacles reversed. Insecurity, ineptitude, weakness of will, illusion, manipulation. You're dealing with someone that is like this, okay? You're dealing with like an arrogant person that's disorganized, insecure, ineptitude, weakness of will, illusion, manipulation, okay? But you're, you're moving, that's what this new beginning is. You're, this new beginning is either with yourself or with someone else, okay? Because you go from the five of pentacles reversed in the present, okay, to the five of pentacles reversed in the future, okay, with two different decks. That's why I like to use two different decks here. It shows, I mean, three of wands in the past to, in the upright to the three of wands reversed in the present, okay? So, like, you can see how the cards will go from the upright to the resistance position and then back in the upright. It's always like that. It will always be like that at some point or another, okay? With the five of pentacles, okay, in the reversal, money regained after severe toil, determined, obstinate, recovery, assistance, gift, okay? You're getting some kind of new, what's it, what would you call it? Like a uh, new, um, like, uh, what's the word? Why is it not coming to me? It's not option. Like you're getting a new, I don't know why the word is not coming to me. Chance. You're getting a chance to do something new. Okay. It could be with someone or by yourself. Either way, you're getting the option to do something new. Okay. To move forward with yourself or with someone else okay you're getting the option now again five of pentacles in the reverse for the future okay money regained after severe toil determination obstinate recovery assistance gift i don't think that's what it states in the book here but i will read it for you really quick so that way we can see it says materialism to the point of spiritual starvation and disconnect wealth at the cost of lasting happiness and any of the virtues false gods or spiritual leaders cults okay so that's why they wanted me to read it. You're, it's like you're trying to move on or wanting to move on from someone like this, okay? Because I'm not getting that this is you, Sagittarius. This is someone else. One, two, three, four. All right. King of Wands reversed, Page of Cups reversed, and the Ten of Wands, okay? This is some kind of... Ooh, I feel like you're getting away from someone that's either a fire sign or water sign. Um... Could be dealing with a cusper here, Sagittarius. 
all right but they're like the negative aspects of both the fire and the water signs okay and you're ooh, okay king of wands reverse let me read it Tyrant, rude, bully, domineering boss, violent criminal, self-obsessed megalomaniac, basically a real jerk. Could also represent a glory-seeking posure masquerading as the positive side of this card. Alternatively, this card reverse could show possible possible misfortune to an otherwise good man if it is heavily aspected by negative cards in the reading. Okay, And then with the Page of Cups, also my wrist keeps itching right here. You could be dealing with somebody that's got some kind of addiction, all right? whether it be alcohol, drugs, smoke something like that i don't know they're addicted to something okay lack of creativity depression anxiety hearing voices in one's head not the good kind possible autism low birth weight unhappy childhood um also drug overdoses alcoholism or conversely simple indigestion this is why you really need to verify okay so yeah this is a person this person is a burden to you okay you're holding on to some kind of burden with someone or something here okay or at least if you are are not holding on to a burden with this person, you haven't got over something about how they made you feel. Let me get um, three clarifying cards to clarify the situation for Sagittarius in the future, okay? One, two, three, four, okay. Ten of Swords, Nine of Pentacles reversed, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, they backstab you in some kind of way big time, okay? bad faith danger wanting rewards without work it's like they were trying to take something from you sagittarius but they weren't really willing to give a whole lot ruin defeat failure insolence overthrow speaking many words hopelessness okay it's like they're just trying to talk their way out of this situation in order to one get you back or like keep you on lockdown or something okay but you're sitting i don't know somebody's upset that it didn't work out though okay it's either you or them but it says contemplation apathy seclusion closed lack of risk boredom demotivation okay but four of cups is like really representational of someone trying to reach out to someone else and the other person being like no i'm done i'm, I'm not wanting to move forward with this something like that going on okay all right let's get big bubba mac to clarify some of this situation sagittarius all right big bubba mac spirit guides god angels ancestors archangel michael show me the cards that i need to see for sagittarius today please some of you could be moving too soon or thinking about moving or wanting to move or something like that Got to make a move to a town that's right for me. Dun, 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 dun. Gotta move on. All right, let me shuffle it one more time. Boom. Shut up, my God. Okay. All right, let's clarify this situation. One, two, three, four. We have anger. Someone could be angry at you or you're angry at someone, okay? About this situation or some, something about anger going on here. One, two, three, four. We have pothos. You could have a pothos plant in your house, okay? Possibly pothos represents luck and perseverance and it attracts abundance, okay? Or you need to get a pothos plant. What else? One, two, three, four. We have snake. Yeah, you got a snake in your energy. This could be the person that's angry at you about, I don't know, either moving on or no longer allowing them to hold you down in some kind of way. Something about snake is significant. What else? One, two, three, four. We have queen. Okay, you could be a queen or be seen as a queen or something about queen is significant here. You could like listening to queen, the singer. One, two, three, four. You could be dealing with a Gemini, all right? Or you have Gemini somewhere in your chart or something about Gemini is significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. Uh, we have call or calling. Someone could be calling you, okay? You could, you could be getting a call from a Gemini, okay? Or you could be calling one or something like that, significant. What else? One, two, three, four. We have heart chakra. Yeah, you're feeling, you're feeling very hurt about this situation, okay? Something about someone's heart chakra is significant. You or that person is, or both, somebody. One, two, three, four. Somebody's stuck in their root chakra. This is representational of un, unhealed childhood trauma as well, okay? So I feel like that is... A big significator of this situation here. One, two, three, four. We have clear quartz. You might need to get some clear quartz in order to um, 
mental clarity, have mental clarity on the situation, but it also represents enhancing mental clarity, aid in emotional stability, use during manifestation, increased focus, and it also helps clear the mind to see truths and situations or new perspective, okay? Five more, one, two, three, four. We have red jasper, okay? You might need to get some red jasper as well. Red jasper helps with the, fel the fear of failure as well as the fear of success, okay? Red Jasper helps with, to face fear of failure as well as fear of success. It reminds us to help others. Red Jasper encourages honesty and to live honorably. There's other things as well that that Red Jasper does. Uh, marriage, you could be married to someone or like someone's wanting to be married to you or someone is married to you. Something like this is significant, okay? Marriage is significant here. Maybe you want to marry somebody. We have headband. You could be stuck in your head about something or someone or someone wears a headband in your energy, something like that. One, two, three, four. We have tape. Somebody could have a recording of you or you have a recording of someone or someone's trying to hold together some kind of relationship with like tape or something. Does not work. Okay, you could be dealing with a Virgo or you have Virgo somewhere in your chart or something about a Virgo is significant here, okay? Boom shakalaka. <clears throat> All right, let's get a message from the Ancestor Oracle cards before we close out. If this message is resonating with someone out here, guys, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? All right, let's see what's up with it. Ancestors, Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Sagittarius today, please. Let me get one more shuffle like this. Okay, one more four, one, two, three, four. Okay, this is the card. Shadow and darkness, okay? Shadow and darkness, let's read it. Shadow is a name for those parts of us that have been repressed over the course of our lives and remain in the darkness of our subconscious. Some aspects of it are the product of our evolution, such as instinctual drives for sex and aggression, which we have had to contain in order to adapt to the norms of society. Other aspects are the result of our upbringing, when certain traits and impulses were criticized, shamed, or punished, such that we had to repress those characteristics because they elicited fear or anxiety or anxiety in parents, family, teachers, and even friends. There are negative areas of darkness, ones that we would just as soon not have to deal with, characterized as the lower self or alter ego, a la Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. When we encounter these dark, clouded parts of ourselves, whether by force, circumstance, or willingness, we use metaphors to describe the experience, such as wrestling with our demons, experiencing a dark night of the soul, having a midlife crisis, or grieving a significant loss. Life, positive traits, or light shadows can also be suppressed, such as laughter, vulnerability, strength, and honesty, due to the fear and anxiety that gets actu activated when these draw attention. Suppressing these light shadows, we can lose a certain enthusiasm for life, allowing much of our lives to be governed by fear and worry, always anticipating that death, metaphorically or literally, will, will be just around the corner. That is what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. They are saying, lurking in the depths of your subconscious are aspects of your humanness that are chained tightly for fear that any one or all would escape and somehow lead to harm and destruction. <sighs> My words are all choppy. Lurking in the depths of your subconscious are aspects of your, of your humanness that are chained tightly for fear that anyone or all would escape and somehow lead to harm and destruction for yourself or others. The paradox is that the more you attempt to remain unaware, the more you suppress and harbor those traits wrapped in the dark cloth of your judgments. Imprisoned with these shackles of shame and distrust, the more power they hold over you, Bringing shadows to the light of awareness allows you to dissipate your fear and shame and accept more of what you're made of. It's time to bring out at least one troublesome dark shadow and one suppressed light shadow, ones that have hinted to their presence and come into your consciousness in some way, and release your fear and welcome them. Do so by allowing their expression through singing, writing, playing music, dancing, making a work of art, or practicing any other form of creative expression. Soon after trying these kinds of acti activities and experiencing no harm, you'll find it easier to more deeply accept all of you. 
That's right, Sagittarius, you will, okay? Sagittarius, I hope this message resonated with someone out here today. If it did, guys, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, all right, guys? Keep your head up, Sagittarius. This will be okay, okay? You will work through this situation like you work through everything else, because Sagittarius are very strong people, all right? Anything you need to know about me, Sagittarius, will be in the description box below, okay? Be sure to check that out. Please follow my TikTok. I am trying to push my TikTok and Instagram pages at this point, okay? Those will be down in the description box. Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, guys, love yourself first.